Okay, welcome back to creating a cryptocurrency in Python. In the last video, we just made some changes to our blockchain file and added our isValid method. And in this video, we're going to do is set up our Flask application, just get a simple app running, and um, get our MySQL database ready for storing our blockchain stuff. So we're going to have to import a few things first, so make sure you've got your terminal opened up. And if you have pip installed, um, you should have that installed. If you do not, I think the line is brew install pip that you run to install pip. And pip is going to be our installer to get some libraries that we're going to need to use. So the first one we'll do is pip install flask. Okay. And as you can see, I've already got it. So here it says requirement already satisfied. Uh, but for you, it should download the library. So the next one is pip install flask dash mysql db. And that's going to be our database that we're going to store our blockchain in. And again, it says requirement already satisfied. And then we're going to install passlib to store some passwords and hashes. Okay. Now we're going to run our MySQL. So let me just clear this. So we're going to run mysql.server start. Okay, and see here I've got this uh, MySQL D process already exists. So if you do get this throughout the time we're using MySQL, just do control C and then run the line kill all MySQL D, MySQL D underscore safe. And then now we can run that line again, mysql.server start. Okay, now the next thing is we're going to log in to the root user. And here, I'm not sure if it'll prompt you to create a password. It might make you create a password here. So just create a password that's easy to remember. And then if it asks you to enter a password and you haven't created a password I think the default is one two three four so I'm just going to enter my password let me know in the comments if something doesn't work here for you or just do a quick Google search and you should be able to get this running so enter your password and now we're into our MySQL here so we're going to create a database and I'm gonna call it crypto you can call it whatever you want and then we're going to use that database. Then we're going to create a table to store our blockchain. So I'm going to call that blockchain. And then each block in the blockchain is going to have a number. And we're going to make that 10 characters. Then our hash is always 64 characters. So varchar64. Our previous hash is varchar64 as well. And our data, we shouldn't need that many characters. I'll set it as 100. And then our nuance, same thing. We shouldn't need too many. So 15 should be good enough. And OK, now we've created our table. So if I do select all from blockchain, and we have nothing in it right now. So that's all set up. So I'm just going to exit MySQL and clear the terminal clean it up there and now we're going to create our app file so call that app.py and inside app.py i'm just going to add our typical header uh, user bin python okay and our encoding is going to be UTF-8. Perfect. And then now we're going to import those libraries that we just installed. So from Flask, we're going to import, and bear with me here, there's a, there's a lot, and we won't need them just for this video, but we will use them later. So it's going to be Flask with a capital F, render underscore template, flash, redirect, URL underscore for, session, request, and logging. And then we're going to import passlib.hash, uh, SHA-256 underscore. 
crypt. Like that. And then we're going to import our MySQL, which we just set up. Flask underscore MySQL DB import MySQL. Nice. And then um, we're going to initialize our app. So our app is going to be equal to Flask and then Dunder name. And then we're going to configure all of the um, settings for our MySQL. So we're going to do app.config. And then mysql underscore host, and that's going to be equal to localhost. And then we're going to config our username, mysql underscore user, which is going to be root. And then our database password, which is whatever your mysql password is. Um, I'm not going to put mine here for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, next is our database name, or, or which is uh, crypto, or whatever you called it earlier. I called mine crypto. And lastly, our cursor class, which is going to be how we access information in our MySQL. And I'm going to use the dict class, so that means we're looking at uh, accessing information by dictionaries, which is pretty handy. So in order to actually get my password to work here, I'm just going to make it a variable. Just going to MySQL underscore password, and then I'm going to import that, which I put in a password file. So don't worry about what I'm doing here. I'm just getting my password ready like you are so what i've just done is imported it from another file you can actually just manually type out your password here instead of doing this say your password is one two three four just type it like that okay next we will initialize our mysql and i've mistyped app here so we're going to select our variable mysql equal mysql of our app and then we're going to check if we are running this as the main file and in that case we are going to run the app and we'll set debug equal to true and then we also need to create a secret key for the app so um I'm just going to let that equal secret one, two, three. Okay, cool. Then we will create a home page. So when we open this web app, we will have um, something pop up here. So our default is just a slash. We'll open the index of the app and then we're going to define a function as index with no parameters. And we're going to return um, let's say return hello world make sure this works okay now that we've done a lot here so we're going to try and run this thing now and we'll open up our terminal and we'll just run app.py okay so now it's running on this site here you can copy and paste this link into your browser or if I just open up my chrome here um, we can do local host 5000 and here we are hello world has printed nicely so now we've gotten our app to work the very basics of our mysql and our index page in the next video we'll start to add um, a, a real home page to our site and a login and registration for our user